Hello and welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Anybody who isn't, please like, subscribe, follow, comment. Let me know what you're liking about these videos. Let me know what you're not liking about the videos. Last week we did a bunch of different sets from the Sword and Shield era and had a couple hits that were peppered in there uh, between all the different sets. We ended it off with five booster packs of Brilliant Stars, which got me wanting to open an entire booster box. I love this set. There's a few different Charizards. There's Rainbow Arceus, Gold Arceus, Gold Galarian Moltres, and then a couple Trainer Gallery cards from the Eevee Evolutions. So without further ado, let's jump into this booster box and let's get a couple hits. Let's go. All right, here we are, video six of the weekly Wednesday openings. Sobble is ready. Sobble is ready to open some brilliant stars. And Sobble's going to quickly take a look at all of the shiny Pokemon there. That's going to be a little hint at what's up for the next video. And I will let you guys know at the very end of this one. So without further ado, here we are. An entire booster box of brilliant stars. One of my favorite sets out of the Sword and Shield era. Charizards in here. Arceus cards are in here. Two Umbreon Trainer Gallery Arts. Two Sylveon Trainer Gallery Arts. Mim Mimikyu and a few others. But the Eevee Evolutions are the ones to go with. Again, always be careful when you're opening one of these. You want to cut it open very easily, softly. Get a parent to help you out with it. But here we are, 36 booster packs of Brilliant Stars. Go ahead and comment. Uh, what your favorite card is out of this set. I'm sure most people are going to say the Charizard. And I would actually say um, Arceus. I love those cards. I love all of them. I think they're really great. And then the Galarian Moltres looks pretty nice. This is such a clean set right here too. Really pretty. I have never opened a booster box for some reason of this set. I'm not really sure why. Um, no idea. So... Let's see what we got here. We got Shaman, we got a Charizard, we got an Arceus, and a Wimscott. Decent artworks on those. Really nice clean packaging on these. I do like the white. It looks really crisp. If you're a soccer fan, it's kind of like the Real Madrid jerseys with the gold um, numbers on them. Those are sick. Um, so let's see what we get out of here. I'm thinking we'll get at least one Charizard. I don't know what variation we're going to get, but... We're not going to know until we start opening them up, so let's just go for it. Let's start with a Shaman Booster Pack. And it's Sword and Shield era, so we're just going to rip it right uh, four from the back and go right to the front. V-Star Market to start it off. Yeah, that's a keeper right there. Starmie, Cynthia's Ambition, Sharon's Care, very playable card. I love it. Baltoy, Axew, Nose Pass, Snow Runt, Roseanne's Backup, and Magmortar. So nothing to really start off with that. Did I throw the... Oh yeah, we had the V-Star marker. <laughs> Already confusing myself. We just started the video, so come on. I gotta get more focus. Last video, I was kind of messing up the narrating for the most part, but today I think I'm pretty on it. Um, I have not pulled the Alternative Art Charizard, and boy would I like to pull that today. I think that's the one most people are rooting for whenever they're opening this set. Probopass, Team Yells, Cheer, Chinchino. We are always coming across Chinchino. Impidimp, Staryu, Riolu, Starly, nice, a Trainer Gallery Flareon to start it out with, um, and Mewtwo. At the very end of the last video, um, in one of those Brilliant Stars booster packs, that's what we pulled. This one's a little bit rougher around the edges, it's a little thick on the right side, you can kind of see it there. But overall, a great card. Flareon is one of my favorite uh, evolutions of Eevee, and um, that started, you know, first generation. Um, I know I like to play Flareon in my water deck, uh, uh, Vaporeon in my water deck, but I just, I think Flareon's probably my favorite if I had to choose. So we go four from the back again. Water energy, Magma Basin, I see something poking out back there. Crawdunt, Ultra Ball, Cast Form, I'm having a difficult time keeping it in the center this time. I got my setup behind the camera a little different. Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Magmortar, and a Wimscott V. Those colors are magnificent right there. Nice purples, greens. Very gorgeous card. That is getting a sleeve and a top loader today. Sleeve. And a top loader. Sorry if that cut off a little bit right there. Um, 
I accidentally tapped a button while I was fixing the camera. But nice Wimscott right there, right? That's a good one. I'll start off with that and a Flareon. I have not pulled that card, believe it or not, yet out of the set. And I, I, I opened my fair share of Brilliant Stars. Um, this is right up there with Evolving Skies. And I'm one of those people that actually liked Rebel Clash. I kind of messed those up. Um, V-Star, Morgrim, Acerola's Premonition, Friends in Galar, Sneasel, Corfish, Magmar, Spiritomb, Burmy, Team Yell's Cheer, and a Muck. Oh, there we go again. See, I'm all over the place. I am knocking the camera around and messing everything up. Let's see what a Charizard booster is going to go with. Let's see if we'll get anything out of there. Oh, I can feel like one of the cards is really sticking up hard on there. On the inside of the... Yeah, see? Oh, it's a code card. And I can kind of see that we got something back there. It's a V or something. Who knows? Maybe it is one of the Alt Art Umbreons. Hitman Top, Magma Basin, Crawdont, Cub Chew, Dooskull, Farfetch'd, Execute, Grimer, Flowfell, and a Grand Bull. We're hitting the purple and pink cards. It looks like Wimscott and Grand Bull V. Two cards that I have not pulled out of the set. That's pretty good. Good way to start this video so far, though. Wimscott and a Grand Bull. It's almost like their background and their foreground got um, switched on each other. They both, they both traded. So let's get a top loader for this, too. I like this card. This is in really good shape. This one's got really good centering. There you go. Nice Grand Bull, though. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. Let's go to a Wimscott. Brilliant stars. Go ahead, like, comment. I would like to know what everybody's favorite card out of this set is, and also just what your favorite Pokemon is in general, you know. Um, I know that Kadabra is coming back into a set, which, oh my god, I can't wait. I love Kadabra. Uh, Alakazam was definitely one of my favorite originals, and just the evolution line in general. Um, Shroomish and Eskew, Ice Cube. Nothing really good out of that one, but... um. When it came to Generation 1, they just had the best evolutions, and Psychic really took it over with Ghastly up to Gengar. <sighs> I mean, who doesn't like Gengar? I mean, I got my boy right back there. Love that binder. Uh, Wimscott here. Another one. I'm just going left to right in the booster box. I don't really think it matters which sides we go off of. Um, I don't judge it like that. They're put in here complete re completely randomly, so who cares? Choice Belt, Luxio, Hitmontop, Baidoof, Hawlucha, Buizel, Gibble, Trapinch, Electiver, and an Infernape Hollow. Nothing of note out of there. Now, I mean, maybe when I'm editing, I'll look back and see which side had more pulls, but it doesn't really matter. And I gotta say, ever since Scarlet and Violet, Video 1 and... Well, I shouldn't ruin that. I haven't released the video yet, but there might be a bonus video, and I kind of let the spill the beans there, but Scarlet and Violet. Ever since I opened that, I really haven't gone back to open it. I've, I've been busy going back to the Sword and Shield era and seeing what's what I haven't pulled out of there, and so far I've been pretty fortunate. Grim Snarler, Snarl and Mewtwo, not bad. But uh, I just realized that these cards are going to be gone soon, and... Might as well start buying them and collecting them now before they go to old news. I think one day we're going to look back and miss the yellow borders. I mean, the silvers look great, but there's something nostalgic about the old yellows. Uh, per G Pachirisu, Kindler, Ultra Ball, Axew, Nosepass, Snow Runt, Clink, Dendene, Clang, and an Empoleon Holographic. Let's see if we get a real banger out of here, though. Um... You know, go ahead and again comment and see what you think would be the the absolute best card we will pull out of this. Is it going to be an alt art? Is it going to be a rainbow? Is it going to be a gold? Gold Moltres I'll settle for. Excuse me. <coughs> gold Moltres I'll, I'll definitely uh, accept that. Pot Helmet, Sigilith, Trap Inch, Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Dewskull, Piplup again. Do we get two P Piplups out of there? Yeah, Piplup's cute. Where's Sobble at? Oh no, where did Sobble go? Oh yeah, there he is. I think Sobble wants to get a front front seat right there. There you go, Sobble. You can see what's going on. I think Sobble's going to bring us a little bit of luck. I love Sobble. It's one of my favorite. I'm mad that they're banned right now to scoop up because there's no other reason to really use those cards unless you can't scoop them up and just keep searching for cards. But Sobble's, Sobble's one of my favorite buddies. 
he helps me do the video editing. I don't give him enough credit for it, but he doesn't have opposable thumbs to open the pack, so whatever. Grimer, Clefairy, Electabuzz, Turtwig, and a Drudigan. Drudgigon. Let's see. I'll go with a Shaman again. Looks like something's poking out at the top there. Let's see what it is. Let's still do the card trick. We don't need to ruin anything. Water Energy, Hunting Gloves, Vibrava, Cafe Master, Cherubi, Riolu, Starly, Spirit Tomb, Pro Eevee Trainer Gallery. So we got the Eevee to go with the um, Flareon. We have a Raichu V. So let's let's put both of those in a sleeve. No need to put them in top loaders. They're not that highly sought after. Maybe the Eevee though. That's a really crisp one. I think the Brilliant Stars white really matches this this Eevee. It's kind of silver and just got a lot of white uh, overtones in it. That's a brilliant card though. Brilliant card from Brilliant Stars. And if you haven't, go check out my eBay. A lot of the cards that I pull here on camera will be put up on auction. There's usually a buy it now. Um, offer settings are usually on. That's at Misfit Cards. That's my eBay seller's name. And then you can also go check out me on TikTok. Or uh, TikTok, it's the commissioner. And then on um, YouTube here, obviously, it's the commissioner's cards. A rad trading card, the commissioner's cards. So Water Energy, Sharon's Care, Bear Trick, Collapse Stadium, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chimicho, Gibble, Turtwig, Probopass, and Morpeko V. Not that great so far. I mean, I, I think the full arts that we got those are those are good. I'd say that those are some of the more rare ones that you would come across. And I would say that the two trainer gallery cards that we got so far are pretty good for just the uh, simple illustrations without all the uh, V and V Max. They're nice. One, two, three, four. Sabalor, am I in your way? Good. Fighting Energy, Starmie, Cynthia's Ambition, Sharon Scare again, Impidimp, Gullet, Gullet. Castform, Chimchar, Baltoy, Mothim, and a Mewtwo non-hollow. Again, nothing of real note out of those. Excuse me while I take a sip of water. <sighs> these really dry you out. Doing these videos, I've noticed. I, I very much enjoy them, especially recording, so I get to go back and relive those moments, just like you guys get to watch these and see the surprises and real time like I do, but I don't do them at my leisure. I open them up to get a get a good 30 or 36 open in about a half hour. That's about one every minute, so we always make good time here. Monferno, Gloria, Dusclops, Starly, Purloin, Spirit Tomb, Milsery, Shinx, Monferno, and a Star Raptor on Hollow. Again, kind of kind of striking out. I would say even the V's, they're they're nice. Nothing wrong with V's. A hit's a hit. But when you buy a box, you're kind of hoping to hit a couple big ones, you know? Piplup on the very front. He's going to go behind four cards. Monferno, Bear Trick, Fracture, Piplup, Mincino, Carablast, Buizel, Halucha, Throw, and Wormadim. I'm kind of noticing on the top of these two, they're, uh, maybe that's just, maybe I'm just imagining stuff. Maybe the light's putting on, no, see, yeah, there's a couple of them that are a little bent at the top. You can see that right there. Only a couple of them. It's none of the really good cards. The hollows weren't bent or anything. I just, something I noticed. Let's see how many are left on the left side. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven there. I'll just put them right there. Eleven and... Two, four, six, eight, nine, twenty. So we already burned through sixteen booster packs. No big deal. We could take our time though. It's nice to admire. It's nice to take your time, savor, enjoy. Two Wimscots right on the front there. Let's open. Let's open this one. Kind of nicer weather here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's finally starting to heat up. The nights are a little cool, but I apologize for wearing uh, the cutoff sleeve shirt. I know I'm really pasty. I'm a very, very white person in Wisconsin. Riolu and Wormadum, but in the steel form. 
So I apologize for that. I tried to tan, but it's it's not working out so well. It's kind of funny that I'm opening the pasty white Brilliant Stars box too while we're at it. Oops, can't really rip this one open. Um, so I don't feel like we've gotten a hit in a while. We haven't gotten anything since Morpeco V. Let's hopefully we get something out of here. And let me adjust this light really quick. That's a little high. There we go. Now you can see that beautiful Shaman and the Pokemon uh, trading card game logo. Clang Gabite. You know, it's nice because then that gives them a little bit of attention. I know they nobody really knows what Pokemon is. You know, it's not that popular. Impidimp, Magmar, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Staravia, and a Wormadim. That is weird. That's weird. Hold on a second. We got that Wormadim. 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 How weird is that? Three packs in a row. How many are in here? I don't even know. I don't know how many Wormadims are in here. Rare, rare, rare. That is bizarre. Three in a row. The weirdest stuff happens on this channel. Um, been pulling doubles of the same card, regardless if they're hollow or not in the same packs. Two Starlies, I believe, at some point. And then I had another one where I pulled one and then a couple cards back. It was upside down in the pack, and it was definitely two of the same card. Double Turbo Energy. I'm surprised that's the only one we've gotten so far. Kindler. Pimplup. Pin. Plup, Prin Plup, Duskull, Farfetched, Execute, Grimer, Sneasel, Carablast, and Boss's Orders Hollow. Nice. Always using Boss's Orders. It's nice to pull somebody off the bench that you can uh, take out pretty quickly. Charizard Booster Pack. Looks like there is something in there, and I like. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right here. When I get a V Star Marker. I feel like I get a training gallery card more often than not instead of a VMAX or a V that's outside of the trainer gallery. So let's see if that happens. Double Turbo Energy, Probopass, Prin Plup, Clefairy, Carablast, Cherubi, Sock, Quark, and boom, I told you. Single Strike, Urshifu VMAX, and a Shaman V. I don't know why. But there is something about getting a full art trainer gallery card when a V-Star marker is in there. I don't know. I, I just had a... I just suspected it. I don't know. I feel like that's just been what I've been Pavloved into um, from the experience I have with opening these booster packs. Whenever I got a V-Star, it's either nothing or it's something like this. And it's, boom, two hits. I feel like that's only the case for Brilliant Stars, though, where you get a V-Star marker... And you get possibility of getting two hits. No energy, and then two hits. Shame to be. Come on, get off the get off the ground. And you know what? There it is. It's because I adjusted the light. Shaman did this. Thank you, Shaman. There you go. Little buddies. But that's a great card. I just sold one of these on eBay, I think for a measly four dollars. It's a nice card. It's gonna increase in value. Jump on that one. Maybe I'll sell that one for four bucks. Even if it's not there, make an offer. I'll possibly accept it. Depends on how good the centering looks. And, um, you know, I don't know how many more I have left, but I do like that card. Urshifu looks great. I wish in Battle Styles we would have um, pulled Aquarian <laughs> again, Trainer Gallery. That's a good one. And Garchomp uh, Hollow. Um, what was I saying? Um, I wish we would have pulled one of those Urshifus, especially the Meditating Urshifu out of Battle Styles uh, in the last video. But um, that's okay. You're not always going to pull something amazing out of Battle Styles. But um, if you check out my shorts, which are slowly coming out, I do one a day. Just one booster pack. Um, I have pre-filmed a few of them because, I mean, I work a full-time job. i got to work around that and edit and put it all together and make content. If you look at it's going to be like the fifth or sixth video. It's a Battle Styles booster pack. Your jaw is going to drop. So just wait on that. Look out for it. TikTok, Instagram, look out for those videos. Imp Dimp, Ace Rollers, Premonition, and Lipard. We're getting a lot of Lipards. We just got a couple Lipard Vs, I think, two videos in a row. Not one of my favorite Pokemon. If I'm going with if I'm going with a cat Pokemon, I'm going with Persian, man. Or the classic Meowth. I mean, those are just the greatest. Alright, yeah, Purloin and all them. I'm not really big into them. I got two cats, but I am not into the cat Pokemon, I gotta be honest. 
Fresh water set, star me, weevil, magmar, riolu, burr me, star you, carablast, boss's orders, and professor's research. All right. How many more do we have? Let's see here. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, thirteen. So let's just mix them up at this point. We always kind of do this in our videos where we just kind of mix them up a little. I don't think they're putting it in the booster boxes in any specific order, but just for fun, let's just mix them up, mix them up. I see only like three Charizard art packs, and then there's a couple Wimscots. Again, that doesn't matter, but it's just kind of nice to mix it up. Tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the box. I'm just going to lay these over here. If you're noticing a pattern, except for except for Mew there, you'll notice that a lot of these in the background are for, from the same set, huh? What's that have to do with anything? We got the shiny Charizard, shiny Crobat VMAX, shiny Crobat, Dragapults, Lapras, Scorch, Eternatus VMAX, Toxitricity VMAX, but then a shiny Mew. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Next video, we are opening a minimum of 30 Shining Fates booster packs that we are getting from Rare Candy. And um, not trying to promote him. But I'm going to be honest who the source is. It is Leon Hart and his company, Rare Candy. I scored those for an amazing price off of his website. I'm very happy to have gotten it uh, for such a cheap price. I was going to get three um, ETBs. Um, but we'll have to see how many I actually got. Uh, Lucario and a Purloin Reverse Hollow. So be on the lookout for that video coming out after this one. A week from the Wednesday. What is this? It's going to be May 3rd that this one gets posted to YouTube at 2 p.m. And then uh, after that will be the Shining Fates at minimum 30 booster packs. So watch out for that video and we will go Charizard hunting again. But we're looking for shinies. I'm still looking for the basic shinies. I got all the full arts. I don't have all of the uh, trainers though. But I would like to round out that um, that collection and finish it. Star you and a Breloom. But uh, Shining Fates was one of the very first subsets that I got into when I came back into Pokemon. Champion's Path technically was first, but then right after that was Shining Fates. And I had no idea that Pokemon was doing that. I've heard about them before. I've been playing Pokemon Go. I've been kind of keeping my ear to the ground about the new releases, about kind of what's going on with Pokemon. But for some reason, Shining Pokemon just kind of went over my head. I was floored. And that's what kind of got me back into Pokemon, how much it evolved. Evolved. Um in the amount of time since the late 90s and early 2000s. Uh, Gabite and Haxorish. So we got two dragon Pokemon out of there. So, so far, no rainbows, no golds. Um, I think we're still, I think we're still in the market to get a big hit. I don't know if there is a guaranteed alt art you get or an alt art or, or any kind of banger that you get out of here, but... I guess we'll find out. If we don't get anything, then you're not glorious. Staravia, Berry, Chimicho, Chimchar, Minchino. Okay, that keeps happening. I feel like this has happened just recently. Chimicho, Chimchar, and Minchino. Ball toy, Snow Runt, Sharon, Sharon. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I was just calling it. Oh my god, what a gorgeous card. Yes, we are knocking them out of the park on this channel, everybody. Um, give it up for the Galarian Moltres. What a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Centering is slightly off, but it is, it's in amazing condition. No, no whitening on the edges. Wow, look at the colors on that. Wow, yes, I am floored. That is a great Great hit. I, I was even saying if we don't get in the Char any of the Charizards, Arceus, or the big trainer gallery cards, the Galarian Gold Moltres would be the one to get, and we got it. Oh, yes. Only in the commissioner's office. So like, subscribe, comment. How cool is that card? Um, that is amazing. I'm not going to put that on the Charizard. That goes right to the front right there. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so psyched about that. Did you see that, Sobble? Did you see what happened? Sobble's like, you like that card more than me. Never, never, Sobble. I always will love you. Oh my gosh, that is such a great card, though. Brilliant stars. Thank you so much. Um, keeping the gold streak alive. We have pulled no more than six 
and no less than four. Somewhere, somewhere in there is how many we've pulled. And mind you, we've had, this is video seven now. So we'll just have to see where we go with that. But oh my gosh, I cannot believe we just pulled the Galarian Gold Moltres throw Piplup. I'm okay if the video just ends right here, Clefable. Um, because that's, that's uh, one of the best pulls out of the set. But what would be better is if we pulled a Rainbow Charizard or the Alternative Art Charizard. Because that's the other thing. We haven't pulled an Alternative Art, have we? We've only pulled the Full Arts. And that's a Trainer Gallery. So no. Did I already do the trick? No, I did not. One, two, three, four. I was getting sidetracked because I'm so distracted. Um, Psychic, Hitman Top, Magma Basin, Drawdunt, Snow Runt, Nosepass, Dedene, Cubchu, Shinx, Burmy, and a Clink. Clink Lang or Kling Clang? Depends on where you want to enunciate. Wimscott. Here we go. Down to the last two, four, six, seventh. So this is the seventh. And it, you know what's weird? No Arceus. We have not seen one Arceus yet. And I would say that in my history of pulling um, this set, that is probably the most um, common of the rares that you will see is the... Um, uh, Arceus V's, especially the Arceus v, v Max or V Stars, Clay Doll, and Motham. I feel like I get those. There's just a plethora, but they're still highly playable. You get to load up energy so quick. You get the Star Birth ability, where you get to search your deck for two cards without showing them to your opponents. Any two cards, they could be energies, they could be uh, double turbo energies, they could be trainers, whatever. They could be stadiums, whatever you want it to be. Clay Doll, Freshwater Set, Starmie, Electabuzz, which is great. I was playing that at regionals last year. This is a regional mat, as a matter of fact, so I do play as well, in case I haven't mentioned that in my videos before, but I'm sure I have. Clefable Luxray. Um, I was playing a Sobble uh, Inteleon Drizzile deck with uh, Arceus just loading up an energies. Um, scoop up. And it's a fun deck if you know how to play it. Um, I have not opened that deck since I finished regionals. I always like building new decks, trying new tactics, abilities, playing with the newer Pokemon that come out um, and seeing what they do. Um, the Galarian Moltres, though, that's a very playable card. Um, you just get that Dire Flame Wings, and once during your turn, you attach a um, Dark Energy uh, from your discard pile to this Pokemon. You can't use more than one of those in a turn, so pretty much you could start attacking on turn two. If you know how to discard, you just use an Ultra Ball. Discard two energies, you pull the Moltres out there, boom, use the ability, and then you add another energy, and boom, you're already at two. Shimacho, Gibble, Gibble Turtwig, Trap Pinch, Piplup, Nosepass, and it seems like there's some... Sharon's Care Rainbow, that's, a, that's an awesome card. So sweet, we got a gold and a rainbow out of this box. Gorgeous card too, very playable. Um, this card, not really sure what it's going for. I do have I do have a little guide right here. Let's see what it's if it's even on there on the tops. Uh, no, it's not. It doesn't look like it is. Um, Marnie's Pride is the one that's up there. So Sharon's Care, very playable card. Um, again, this works really well with Charz or uh, not Charizards, Arceus, because you put one of your colorless Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all attached cards into your hand. So it's essentially a free heal. You immediately slap that Arceus back down on the bench. You throw a double turbo energy on there, and you power it up. So two really good hits. This is a good box. Um, and I'm, I don't usually res, re, reveal the source of where I'm going to get my cards from because it's not free advertising for other, other people, but I think that people are interested to see what uh, you get for Leon Hart. You know, it's good price, great price. That's why I got... How many I got out of them, um, but it's it's an over opened, overly open set where there's so much of it printed. Um, you can still find it, no problem these days. Do skull and a dredge gun, um, but it's a very cool set. I mean, just I think the value is really good. But sometimes you just pulled Yan Mega, Yan Mega, Yan Mega, Yan Mega. It gets a little annoying. You get a lot of the same basic rares, but you also get the chance to get these gorgeous gorgeous um shiny cards and i think these are really good looking um but you go back and you look at hidden fates and that's when they really mastered that but the the shiny charizards 
beautiful, very difficult to pull. I notice a lot of people have troubles doing it. Um, I got lucky one day I happened to, there's something back there. One day I opened, um, that, and I must've opened, oh, I don't even want to say how many packs I've opened. And then three booster packs later, it happened again. I had two. Um, I got rid of one of them last year at regionals. It wasn't hard to let go because I did have extras. And it looks like something's back there. Hunting gloves. And a Kingler V. Kingler V Max is just unstoppable if he gets loaded up on energies. But having two shiny uh, Charizard V Maxes is, is definitely something to brag about. And pulling them in that manner. But that's when I started kind of thinking, why am I not filming these? When I open as many of them as I do, uh, we'll just kind of do what we usually do here. I just kind of just I don't have any rhyme or reason why I do it, but I just kind of whimscot shaman. Bup, 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 bup. Left. I'm gonna open up the shaman first and end on the whimscot. So we got two left. And again, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what sets you would you would like to see in the future. Um, again, what your favorite Pokemon is. Did you expect us to pull these out of there? Um, I try to be involved and answer people and get in on the conversation, see what everybody's talking about, how you guys are liking the channel so far. Um, kids can watch it, no swearing. There's uh, nothing nothing vulgar in here, you know, so just feel free to have them watch these and see what's pulled. Magma Basin and an All Creamy. Last pack. Let's see if we get the big stuff. And again, go check out my eBay uh, page, Misfit Cards. Check me out on TikTok at um, <laughs> Ryan the Commissioner. <clears throat> and then, of course, here on YouTube and Instagram is the Commissioner's Cards. So here we go. Very last pack of Brilliant Stars. And I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't have a surprise for you this time. I would love to say that I do, but I don't because the surprise is coming in the next video. And there's also maybe a midweek surprise. And wait a minute. You said midweek. You mean Wednesday? No. I mean in between. That's where my week starts and ends. My week starts on a Wednesday and ends on a Wednesday. I'm talking. There might be a video this weekend that's coming out that has a little surprise. Nice. Single strike mustard. We ended off on such a great note right there. Trainer Gallery Single Strike Style Mustard. Now this card was very playable, is very playable with the Duraludon VMAX. That is the uh, deck that I believe won the Wisconsin Milwaukee Regionals last year. It beat out the um, Mew, Mew VMAX decks. And I just can't stand playing that deck. It's not even fun. So let's do a quick recap of what we all pulled today. Because this this is this is a really good opening, I would say. This is probably uh, getting your money's worth right there. So we got a Flareon Trainer Gallery. We got a Raichu V. We got a Kingler V. Single Strike Style Mustard. To, th to the very end, last pack. Gorgeous card. Sharon's Care Rainbow. The god of the whole opening. Galarian Moltres. Gold. Flareon Trainer Gallery. Again, Shaman V. Morpeko V. Wimscott. Full Art. The beautiful purples, oranges, and pinks. EV Trainer Gallery, Single Strike, Urshifu Max, definitely the winner for the Trainer Gallery. But wait, would it be? Yeah, I would say it would be. And then Grand Bull V Full Art. So once again, thank you for coming to the Commissioner's Office. Like, subscribe, comment, get in on the conversation. Look at my YouTube, uh, my Instagram page. Look at my eBay page. Check out the wares and um, get ready for the next video coming at you, which is Shining Fates. A minimum of 30. No, what would that be? 30? Whatever. 30 booster packs of Shining Fates. Have a good one. Bye.